15th of June. I have two weeks to go. So I have to make final decisions on what I take and what I leave behind. So I think this is going to be a final sort of gear list for the GDMBR. So I've already showed you this bike, but I'll just go over it quickly, a quick recap. So it's a Sonda Broken Road titanium with 27.5 inch wheels. I have 2.6 inch Goodyear Escape tires. It has a whiskey number nine boost spacing fork. So I can put up to three inch tires in there. It has a Sonda Juice Dynamo hub. I got this cage here, I think that's fellow orange, but it fits these big clean canteen bottles of which I have two. They're 1.2 liters roughly. Uh, I think 40 ounce, something like that. And I have an insulated one at the bottom, same sort of size, but yeah, I can put coffee and stuff in there. It has the pinion gearbox with a Gates carbon belt drive. These are new pedals. MKS Lambda, I think they seem okay. They're not uh, vicious like the last ones. Um, tail fin aero pack with the panniers. I have a EE Silk Plus, I think. Yeah, it is the Plus. Suspension seat post. And a Brooks C17 Cambium saddle. Um, so yes, that was just a quick recap. I think the next thing to do is go through the gear. Do you like my um, stand, by the way? I don't think I'm going to bring it. I might try and uh, carve, carve a new one when I get there. I've actually ordered a side stand. It's not here. It's uh, Pletcher, I think it's pronounced. Something or other. It just clamps on, hopefully. I may or may not take it. I'm leaning towards putting one on because every time you lay this bike down, it's just straight on these panniers and uh, they're too expensive for that sort of nonsense. Anyway, I'm going to set up, I've got a proper tripod today. I'm going to set that up and then start pulling all this stuff out. If that's all right with you. Right, we'll start with uh, this one. This is a uh, ground sheet for my tent. I can't remember what it's called. It's really thin and light. I've got this, which is a very, very thin closed cell foam seat in pad and my tent, my Z Pax duplex. Um, it's got the poles as well, because obviously I don't have trekking poles, but they make uh, carbon fiber poles for it. So Z Pax duplex. Next, this pannier. Right, Thermarest Uberlite sleeping pad, Xped inflatable pillow, and just a buff, which I use as a pillowcase, or you know, to protect my neck from the sun. Enlightened equipment, 20 degree quilt. Love this thing. And that's that pannier complete. The other pannier, I have my outdoor research cap. Uh, yeah, I got some winter gloves. Um, I think that's been recommended. Well, I know it has. These, which are new, are leg warmers. Because uh, I'm not taking trousers or anything, so I'll just have shorts and these can slide up and join my bib shorts and I've got warmth. Ah. When I'm washing clothes or I'm just in camp or in bed or whatever, I've just got some thin sports shorts, a thin t-shirt, one pair of socks. This is all stuff that I'm not uh, going to be wearing, by the way, and some pants. This is some repair equipment. I won't go over that because I've already done it. Let's do the frame bag. So your water filter, not the mini because it's rubbish, uh, with a Knock bag. I used one of these on the AT, it lasts me the whole way. Awesome. My food bag, which is Ursac. I think it's an Ursac Major, so not the lightest one, but 
I don't want to be hanging food if I can help it. Pump. Yeah, so this is a Leesine, I believe. Yeah, Leesine, high pressure. Uh, floor drive, I think it's called. I've got some duct tape wrapped around that. So it's got the pressure gauge built in. My titanium pot. And my MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. This again, lasted me the whole of the 80. Uh, as did this ES bit titanium spork and this is the hot lips thing that clips on so you can drink from it without melting your own mouth off spare spokes let's do this bag mainly spares I got some a small bottle of sealant a Gerber one of the old-fashioned Gerber multi-tools 4 mil allen key Tire levers, Crank Brothers M20 multi tool. So that's mainly uh, first, not first aid, um, repair equipment. Uh, this bag, the top tube bag, mainly electronics. I have a Zendua 10,000 milliampere hour battery and a couple of 5,000 milliampere ones because they charge well with the dynamo hub. I also have some headphones, head torch, ah, my mini pump for my air mattress and that's that. This stem bag, not stem bag, what feed bag, stem bag, DEET, a trowel, gotta have a trowel, suntan lotion, in the other one, sunglasses or these glasses. I've gone with this. Uh, I had lots of recommendations, but I just, I, I just bought that. Little pack towel to wipe your tent with in the morning. That's that one. Um, let's go to the front bag. This may change. It's all sort of camera equipment, really, apart from Outdoor Research Helium Rain Jacket, Outdoor Research Helium Rain Trousers, Drone, Drone Controller, Batteries, things with a GoPro, all electronics. I have another 10,000 milliampere hour battery. I'm a bit paranoid about power. Normal riding gloves. This is a little um, pack away backpack just in case I need to carry extra food or I'm just in town and I, I want to pick some stuff up. A little kevlar -y reinforced lock. I don't know. I feel weird not taking a lock. Wall charger, obviously American. This puts out a lot of power so it charges the power banks quickly. Oh yeah, Garmin in reach. And in the pocket on the other side, First aid kit, which I've already gone over in a previous video. I think that is it. I haven't weighed it. I will. And let you know what it all is. But I think I'm not minimal. I've gone middle of the road. When I did hike the AT, I was ultralight. And I don't feel I need to be this time. I fancy a bit of comfort. I might even take a, a chair, a foldable chair. I have a Helinox Chair Zero. But I'm not sure. That may be too far. Um, other than that, I told you about the clean canteens. Um, that light. Fenix BC26R. I like this light. Wahoo Element Bolt. That's it. That's everything. As I say, I may uh, mess around, tinker around the edges. As per usual, if anyone's got any advice, please leave me a comment. I think I've got, well, I know I've got everything. And at the end of the day, I'm not in the middle of nowhere, am I? I'm in America. There's so many shops and if I change my mind about anything, I can just go and buy it. So there you go. All packed back up.
more or less anyway. Now to go home and see if I can fit all of this in the cardboard box that I'm going to be shipping it to Canada in while flying with. It's going to go in oversized baggage. It scares the living daylights out of me. Full disclosure, I've already filmed me trying to get this into that box. And spoiler alert, it wasn't easy, but you'll see that now. Okay, one bike, one box. I have to get this in there with all the bags, apart from the front bag, which I'm gonna take off and use as a carry-on bag, because I've got batteries and things which I can't put in the hold. I've checked this box and it's definitely within the regulations for the carrier that I'm using, which is WestJet. I don't know about the weight. I'm gonna put it in, weigh it, and then I think I'm gonna see how much I have left, how much weight, because I may reinforce this box. I have another cardboard box. I mean, it's pretty good, pretty strong, but you can't have too much packaging. So let's see if it'll fit in. No, I was joking by the way. I'm gonna take the front wheel off, take the bags off, and then I'm learning how to do this on the way. This is not a tutorial, obviously, or a guide. I'm gonna figure it out as I go along. Hopefully it does fit in. The top part of this tail fin rack can stay on. I hope anyway, we'll see how tall it is. But these can come off. I think these, the um, feed bags and that, that can stay on. So can the uh, frame bag, that, everything in line basically. Now for the pedals. I of course need to be able to do this when I get to Canada, so I'm, I'm not going to be bringing giant tools like this. I've got pliers, but I don't want to be using pliers on it. I'll probably take a cheap spanner and then um, dispose of it afterwards. Now to get the front wheel off. <sighs> uh, next step, handlebars. I need to take the handlebars off and lay them sideways. And then I think it's ready to go in. I'm gonna put the axle back in so the forks can't compress. And I'd like to wrap something around the bottom of these just to get them off the bottom of the box. I have got some of this foam stuff, but I don't know if it's gonna work. If I just wrap it round the axle and lift it up a sec. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay, that ain't gonna work, is it? Maybe if I just tie it. down like that. <laughs> now, this is the moment of truth. Oh. Um. GoPro, stop recording. I've got to take the back wheel out. It's something I needed to learn how to do anyway and reset the belt and all this sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna take the back wheel out and figure it out from there. Whew. Right, 
That's fits in there okay. I am a bit concerned about these wheels. I mean, it fits in, but that's just gonna definitely poke through the side. Okay. Right, I better show you what I've done. Here we are. So you can see the bike's in. I'm a little worried about the, um, a little worried about that axle poking through the box. Other than that, it's not too bad. I've got to pack all these bags in now. So let's give them a try. wrap all these individually in bubble wrap pedals well that is that is no fun oh here we go it's all loaded up I mean it's quite a room quite a lot of room at the top now I wonder how much it weighs I'm 84.5 kilos, 111.5, 27 kilos. That's under, I think it's 35 the limit. Feels heavy though. Oh, that's it, good, we're well under, which means I can reinforce it, but I'm not gonna show it here. I'm gonna take some extra cardboard, line the sides, yeah, that's it. Anyway, that is that. Any advice, please let me know. There's no way I haven't done multiple things wrong here. No way. I've also disassembled my bike and the pinion hub by accident. So now I've got to learn how to do that. But all told, that's a success. So the astute among you might notice that there's a bit of discontinu discontinuity, discontinuity between this shot and the last one. So anyway, yes, just to sum up, the bike, I've got that sorted. I know exactly now how it's going to be packed. I've got all my gear sorted. So I think all that remains to be done is to say thank you for watching. And I might see you again. Goodbye.